Hello everyone, Darko2012 here with Global Government News. I'm reading an article that was posted on uh, informationweek.com and it was originally carried by uh, nextgov.com. And it's titled Wolfsden, IBM Patenting Airport Security Profiling Technology, which is no surprise because we all know, I don't want to be redundant here, or I'm sure most of you people have already are aware of this, but you know, IBM is the uh, company that created the excellent uh, system that helped the Nazis uh, keep track of all the incoming and outgoing um, um, prisoners, mostly Jewish people, but uh, it was used during the Holocaust by a mass killing of people. So um, this is no surprise that a, a pro-Nazi company would be uh, pro-Gestapo-style uh, um, equipment. So here we go. A dozen secret patent applications define a sophisticated scheme for airport terminal and parameter protection, incorporating potential support for computer implementation of passenger behavioral profiling to detect security threats. Um, in other words, it's just an, it's just another um, um, it's just another system, another control system. So um, it's three pages. I probably will not get through all of it so I'll skip some paragraphs I'll post the link and uh, I would recommend checking this article out because there's a lot of stuff in here including actual diagrams and stuff a uh, dozen little-known IBM patent applications lay out a sophisticated computer analysis based approach to airport security the technology has the potential to apply profiling of passengers based on attributes such as age and type of clothing worn one of the patents IBM is seeking even appears to go Israeli style security uh, one better using analysis of furtive glances and the application entitled detecting behavioral deviations by measuring eye movements okay so yeah this is this technology is going to be mostly for eye movements um, I know that they already they have um, they have um, behavior detection agents that detect uh, uh, variants uh, uh, behavior when you're going through the airport and all this airport security is of course to test it on the public so that they will accept it and then it will be everywhere including train stations schools um, sports events and whatnot so you they just gotta eventually they use it uh, on the airports because they know that you have to travel and then you submit to it and then they put it everywhere um, the objective of the technology and the passel of patent applications is to alert officials to potential terminal and tarmac threats using a network of video, motion, chemical, and biometric sensors. So there you go, there's biometric sensors uh, arrayed through, this, through, arrayed through the airport. The sensors feed into a grid of network computers which provide high-powered processing to get the results to officials in so-called real time, yet the systems are compact enough to be located on site. The secret sauce in the setup is a software uh, inference engine which crunches the data fed in by a multitude of sensors separating the high-risk wheat from the false alarm shaft. The engine uses heuristics and rules developed by the co-inventors behind the patent applications. Um, these patents are built on inference engine which has the ability to calculate very large data sets in real time. He called he called me because he was surprised I had uncovered one of the one of the uh, patents which I wrote about recently in my in my blog post Obama security push uh, spurring scanner patents IBM seeking one that post focused on the patent application risk risk assessment and pre post security area within an airport Angel told uh, told me he believed patents were under seal that uh, piqued my interest because it indicated that this technology is probably more important in the sense of being proprietary in the cutting edge than I had initially realized. As well, I knew of only one patent. I realized that, according to Angle, there were eight since our conversation. I've uncovered 12 unique applications. The discrepancy might be due, due to the presence of duplicates. Patent lawyers often revise and submit applications or spin-offs. And then uh, this is the actual picture here when you go into it um, it's pretty complicated and like I said a lot of a lot of uh, even more 
blueprints and, and kind of uh, diagrams that you can check out. It turns out uh, it turns out that in fact the patent applications are not under seal. That's something I don't think you can do because the patent process is by de definition open. Uh, moving down here, however, IPM, IBM has used a perfectly legal uh, subterfuge to make the patent applications difficult to track down. Um, I'm trying to get uh, to the kind of the, not the more important stuff, but just uh, what the actual thing is. This profiling of potentially dangerous passengers, as outlined in the applications, appears in many ways to be more neutral than the profiling currently subject the subject of widespread public debate because of its software base and it runs off pre-programmed rules which in general are tended to identify suspicious behavior. On the other hand, this wouldn't necessarily always apply since, mark since markers such as a person's apparent age are listed on the patent applications as potential data points. Um, and you can say, uh, let's, look at, let's look at all the patents in detail. This profiling off of sensor input is described in, as blah, 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 unique cohort discovery from sensory devices. Um, an attribute that is an event, an attribute that is an event may include eating, smoking, walking, jogging, walking a dog, carrying bags, carrying a baby, riding a bicycle, an engine running, a baby crying, or any other event. Sensory data processing categorizes the events. For example, a type of event may include a pace of walking, a companion of a cohort of the cohort, a time of day a cohort eats a meal, a brand of soda purchased by the cohort, a pet purchased by the cohort, a type of medication taken by the cohort, or any other event. In terms of the sensors themselves, the system uses a lot of diverse data gathers from the patent application. Uh, it says multimodal sensors compromises at least one of the set of global positioning satellite receivers, a set of infrared sensors, a set of microphones, a set of motion detectors, a set of chemical sensors, a set of biometric sensors, a set of pressure sensors, a set of temperature sensors, a set of metal detectors, a set of radar detectors, a set of photo sensors, photo sensors a set of seismographs, and a set of anometers. Engel told me that the system could even use olfactory sensories, which mean that they can smell the environment. The patent application also variously mentions license plate recognition technology, uh, face recognition software, and retina scanners. Data captured from video streams from airport cameras is also analyzed. And of course, all of this will be stored in a database and, uh, and will be uplinked to satellites so that if you are a target, if you are a target of interest, um, to the Department of Defense or Homeland Security or the U.S. government in general, uh, they'll be able to find you. They can do it based off your walk, the gape of your walk, your biometrics, as it's stated before. Um, and what I think that they're, that they're kind of getting at here is possibly even <laughs> your brain waves, just matching up your brain waves, uh, but it doesn't say specifically so. Um, but just moving on here. It says, uh, analyzing eye movements. This is the third page. There is another patent application in the, in the group which takes analysis of the potential passenger's threats to a whole nother level. Um, and it's to called detecting behavior of deviations by measuring eye movements. The ocular uh, metadata patterns of eye movement is analyzed. In response to the patterns of ocular movements indicating behavior of deviations, in the member of the cohort group, the member of the cohort group is identified as a person of interest. Specifically, eye movement characteristics, which are monitored and analyzed, include change of pupil size, dilation, direction of gaze, visual line of gaze, where someone is looking, and a rate of blinking. So, you know, yeah, they may detect something, but to, to be honest with you, uh, what if someone's nervous? What if someone has bad anxiety? Um, you know, what if someone had a few drinks, you know, and their pupils are dilated or something at the bar or in the airport? I mean, so everybody. It, what if you're someone that knows and doesn't like all these security measures, and you, you, you know, you can see them, you can spot them, and you're looking at them. So if you look directly, if you don't look directly, you know, it's like either way, you're a criminal. And this is what this falls in line with how the system would work, is that everybody is a criminal, and you're a criminal until you're proven innocent. So... Um, that's the type of technology this is, and uh, so check out this article. I recommend it. Thank you.